thought this was neat. I'm just preparing um, the little uh, Tesla tower there on the Slayer Exciter circuit such that it will hopefully run from uh, one of Lid Motors penny circuits. As you can see at the moment I've got the 1.2 volt cell connected to this penny circuit and it's running the watch there. It has been doing for quite a while. Now, oh by the way, for the for the output to uh, smooth out the output from one of these, you just put a, a 100 UF or so capacitor and, uh, and that will smooth things out. So that enables running other loads. So anyway, what I thought was, right, well I'll test the circuit out and uh, make sure that the tower was working. Well when I did, what it ended up happening was, let's see if it'll do it, if I move the tower nearer there, we do get an HV problem, which will probably manifest itself. Oh no. Oh yes, there we go. As you can see, the HV as I just tapped on tapped with the power lead here, is three volts from the wall adapter. It does funny things to the circuit. I'll do it again and I can see I'm stepping through <laughs> stepping through the time setting by just here we are simply tapping away on here and we end up with that effect which is uh, uh shows the interference so anyway I shall uh, report later on if I get this tower to run from 1.2 volts right so connect it up and there we go not a bad wireless field really not bad at all and that's uh, 1.2 volts to lid motors penny circuit to the Slayer circuit out to the mini Tesla tower that one's a wall green and there we are with the wireless field so and work on this a bit more. Thanks for watching. And just to note, we do get HV as well. That's the neon there, lit nicely. Well, I don't know about nicely, but at least it's lit. And uh, glowing away there from, from this uh, setup. The coil, by the way, underneath is a rather strange one. And there we are. A bit of a curly thing. It's not the most optimum of object, but uh, it certainly works okay. <laughs>